Hey, this is Jared with Carbon Digital, and today I've got a fun thing for you guys. By fun, I mean excruciatingly, excruciatingly painful. So I actually have some client imagery I need to go through and rename it. And so I want to kind of go over why we do that and kind of how to do that. So a little context, um, client sent over some images. These images are all taken with a phone. You can tell that from how they're named. The same way when you export images, it's like IMG0054, some shit like that. It's typically a phone. Some cameras do the same thing, but they have a different prefix. Um, yeah, so if you upload images and you don't rename the image, you're doing yourself a disservice. And here's why. The title of the image and the alt text of the image play into two factors. The first one is SEO, and the second one is accessibility. So accessibility for the alt text is a requirement in order for uh, blind people to utilize screen readers to be able to know what is going on in the image. So if we have an image that is titled um, IMG underscore 7515. If we have an image that's titled this, then that means that the screen readers can't tell the people using a screen reader that what this image is about. So instead of actually being helpful, you're not only being a dick, uh, you're creating a problem for people that are trying to use your website. And it might not be a big deal to you, but in due time, it's going to be a requirement. It's already become a requirement for uh, public official websites, government, and, and shit like that. So uh, it's coming. I guarantee you that. But in the meantime, the most critical thing we want to focus on is the user experience. We want people to be able to experience the website in a fairly similar manner, no matter what ailments they have or what device they're using or where they're coming from. All of those, we want them to get the same impression, have the same experience. And so that's part of why we rename our images. Another reason for renaming them is for the SEO purpose. Now with SEO, we're also going to want the alt text, but with that we also want the images to have a useful name. Oh. So for these images, these are specific to a car show. And there is, I'll just pull up one. Um, these are going to be a little harder to, to do. Yeah, I'll just do the first one here. So this is an, an old Ford pickup. It's definitely old. You can definitely see all the rust on it. And then there's an American flag hanging out the back. And it looks like it's been some, some rat rod stuff might be happening up front. Not sure. But you want to be able to describe this image to... Uh, a person who doesn't have eyes, so to speak. That's that's how granular you want to get with this because then you can reuse the title as your alt text, which is really useful. Um, on WordPress, we actually have it set up so that the title is also converted to an alt text, which means we spend a, we're going to spend time anyway going through all of these images, renaming them, making sure the name for all of them is good. And then when we upload all of our images, it's already taken care of, which is really nice. That's not going to be the same for everyone, but in this case for us, it is. So this, um, you want to try to get specific, but you don't want to go too, too granular. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lowercase this JPEG 
because I can't stand that shit. Um, okay. And then from there, we have a, um, let's see, what's called, well, also you want to slugify your, your, your file names, which means instead of having spaces, use underscores or dashes. Uh, I prefer dashes. Um, some people prefer underscores. It's not going to make a difference for the actual file name. So either one is fine. Um, so we have a, um, let's see, antique, or uh, I don't know if that's the right word, but yeah, antique Ford truck with American flag. Um, let's see, American flag. On flag pole standing in trunk. Sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, I know. Um, but when we do that, you can see here, we're going to switch to this folder here so we can upload the file. Boom, boom. And there's the file. So now... The file name shows up that way, and then we have our alt text automatically set up to uh, all of these fields here are already set up to use that file name already. So that has expedited our workflow so that we have to do less work. Uh, we don't actually use captions for images in nine times out of ten, so we don't really add them. So that is what you want to do for every one of your images. And I know it's a shit ton of work and I know it's brutal and I know that it sucks, but if you do it right the first time, then you don't have to go back and redo it because if we upload all of these images like this, then in the future, somebody's going to want to actually do it correctly. And when they do, they're going to have to download every image, rename every one of them, upload every one of them and then they're going to have to delete one image and update the actual they're going to have to create a redirect for each image yes if you know what a redirect is that means or if you don't know what a redirect is that means that we have one link but we actually want to send people to another link because that's been deleted so if we delete the image that looks like this then we want to create a redirect to actually route them to this image, which is what we want. So if I have a thousand images that are shit, that means I have to rename a thousand files. Then I have to create a thousand redirects and nobody wants to do that level of work. And honestly, you guys as non-developers and, and non-agencies, you don't want to pay for that. Because if I, if I have to do a thousand of these, I'm charging you hourly. And I guarantee you, that's that's a that's 40 hours easily right so 40 hours for a thousand images let's not even 1000 images yeah that's not the way that works 40 so 7000 just to rename images and fix the names so I know for a fact you don't want to pay that much to do that. So maybe it would be a good idea whenever you're working with developers who are working on your website or you're working on your own website, it would be a good idea when you start putting images in a folder for stuff you're going to put on your website, go through and rename them, give them a proper name, one that is descriptive in nature and one that actually tells – it needs to paint a picture with – whatever is happening in the picture um ideally if there's a way you can work in the keyword for the page then do it if it works and flows naturally right if and if you're doing this in bulk before you even upload them into a website in bulk 
then it's going to be a waste of time to try to figure out keywords. But uh, if you're doing this one at a time and you know exactly where it's going to be and you know what keyword you're going to have, try to work in that keyword. The thing is, is that it needs to flow naturally. That's the biggest piece. Uh, realistically, you don't have to have a keyword in the alt text or the file name if it flows naturally or if it doesn't flow naturally. If you can make it flow naturally, though, having it in the file name and the alt text is going to be beneficial for you. So get to work. <laughs> Rename all of your images. You know, Do it right the first time that you don't have to go back and redo it later. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, complaints, send them over and we'll do what we can to help. Till next time, guys. Take it easy.